Hello and welcome back to another episode of MHub Inside. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit of a shop project of a problem that I'm having that somebody else might be having as well. Um, so one benefit we have, or a, a, a service I guess you could call it, that we have for members is a different variety of storage. Um, so we have pallet racks that you can rent, but we also have these lovely cages that you can roll around the building um, and bring your stuff with you. One downside is the wheels occasionally wear out, and as you can hear, very loud, disturbing, for us, the membership. So I've been tasked with replacing these. If I was doing just four of these, it wouldn't be a problem, I'd figure it out. I've done a couple so far, and it's a royal pain in the butt, so I came up with a tool to help me with that process. So, the current process, so I use a pallet jack, lift it up in the air so all four wheels are dangling. I take a long stainless steel rod with a hammer, just pop them right out. That's totally fine, that's great and dandy. Um, the issue comes when I have to put a new wheel because my center of moment when I hit is, is not the same as where, I'm going, where, where the stability is. Uh, when I set it back down, this thing just wants to cantilever out, so it's no bueno. The manufacturer of these uh, casters would just add this retaining ring a little bit further down. It would probably alleviate that problem and make it a little bit easier to insert these. Generally, it's not a problem to insert them when these are fully disassembled or if you can turn them on their side. But as you can see, this one's full of member stuff, so I don't have that luxury. Um, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is an old one. You can see all of these little ridges that are underneath the rubber um, to hold that in place. While some people like to joke this is an off-road version, it's just very loud. So what I've come up with is I bent up some angle iron and welded it, and you'll see the process of that coming up soon. Uh, with the wheel locked, this slides in nicely. And now with the caster body setting on the top of the wheel here, all the force is translated through the ground and it's no longer going to be a go off, kil off kilter. So I haven't tested these yet and I might, it might not work and that's part of the process, but we shall see. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll come up with something else. But in general, I'd lift this, knock out all four, put the four or six of these that I've made, whatever, um, with the wheels in place, lower it so all the weight's on and I should be able to go around and tap all four corners in. Um, Join me on the process to see if my tool works. And thank you for watching Amahub Inside. Please hit that like, subscribe, and notification icon.
Oh, just in time. Uh, so I got them all good, even with that one that was a little wonky. Everything seems to work. Let me unlock these and show you why we did this. So, almost. Now you can see a lot quieter. <laughs> um, so this is a perfect demonstration of why sometimes it is very worth it. This took me probably 30 minutes to just do a couple of them, um, cut, weld, all that kind of stuff. The video is obviously sped up, um, but it's, it's worth it to take the 30 minutes to sometimes build a tool. This was previously taking me about 45 minutes just because they kept wanting to fall over and it was really annoying. Even with setting up for the very first time, I think it was in the realm of like 18 minutes, so 15 to 20. And now that I know what this process is, I'm probably looking about 10 a piece. If I have to do, I think, 24 wheels, uh, so however many carts, this is well worth the time it's saved to make these. So uh, just a demonstration of why sometimes you got to make your own tools. Thank you for joining us on MHub Inside today. Um, please like, subscribe, hit that notification icon. The algorithm really likes that. Um, and if you'd like to see anything, please let us know in the comments.